Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit of an unusual video. Uh, what I'm talking about is stuff that I have experienced, and I, I'm pretty sure you probably have too, is where you're going to look at an old car or an old truck, whatever. New new car, new truck, it doesn't matter. But uh, I don't know, how, my wife and I, Mrs. P.I.B., we've We've kind of noticed that some people are just, I don't know how to describe it, but some people are just pigs. Pigs. I mean, that's about the only way you can say it. Uh, let's take, for example, I'm focusing on this 88 OBS truck, Sam. Let's take, for example, that I was wanting to sell this truck, for example. Okay. I just showed up to look at the truck. It's been on Facebook for sale or whatever. Somebody told you about it, whatever the circumstance. And you look inside. I I, I had to, I staged all this. I, I don't know how people get something to look so dirty when it just takes just a minute to pick up after yourself, after you get out of your vehicle. Like I said, this is all staged, old fishing Fishing wor uh, lures, you know, worms, paper cups, uh, Q-tips, water bottles. Of course, that's full. But I, but you, you look inside the vehicle, car or truck, and it is just crammed full of trash. Trash. That's not counting how it smells in there. So, I don't know. If you're going to sell a vehicle, if you're going to sell a vehicle, car or truck, like I said, and... You're gonna you're gonna take pictures of it or send somebody a short video. Get in there and clean it up. You know, clean up all the debris and trash in it. I don't understand that. Why people do that? I mean, that just turns me away from it totally. And you know, I, I get to thinking, well, if they won't pick up the trash in their car or in the bed of their truck or trunk of their car whatever i'm get to i get to thinking well i wonder if they change the oil i wonder if they you know do regular updates you know uh, uh, trying to trying to keep their vehicle up do y'all ever think like that or is it just me i don't know i can't even stand to look at this and I, and I just put it in here just for just for effect of what i'm trying to talk about and also if you're selling a vehicle don't show or if you sh how can i say this okay if i was going to look at this truck and i'd never seen it before and you see this picture and you call someone about the truck saying that you're interested in it for example this one like i said and uh you know you're looking at this side you know you see the insides and you know they might have raised the hood and you can see the engine but let's say you come to the other side of the of the truck. You walk around, and the whole quarter panel is caved in, or you know it's been wrecked, or something like that. You know, tell the person that's coming to look at it. Hey, this side's been wrecked. You know, it's been a tree fell on it, or you know, or I I was driving a tractor and forgot. <laughs> And just ran right in, you know, whatever the circumstance, say, hey, the other side, you're looking at the best side, buddy. This side right here is kind of caved in. You know, and that way you don't waste your time and you don't make somebody mad that drives all the way over there to go look at your car or truck. And, uh, you know, that you've seen the best side and they neglected to mention it's, you know, from here over is all rusted out and it's gone. Does that make sense? reason i'm saying this is I, I i've been done that way and i don't know if you have or not i pray not but i've been done that way and it's i gotta tell you it's aggravating you know that it's it's deceiving i mean even if i come look at it not knowing that this side is caved in and i walk around to see it i mean i'm not just going to look at one side and say hey i'll take it i'm going to walk around it like any other normal person would 
you know, I'm, I'm going to look at the front, I'm going to look at the back, I'm going to check the tires, you know, I'm going to hear it run. If it's a runner or, you know, even if it's a roller, no motor or transmission, I'm going to look around. I mean, a normal person would, I would think. But uh, people are just, I don't know. I mean, if, if I'm standing there, let, let's just say, let's say, for example, that that this truck, like I said, was for sale. I don't mean to repeat myself. This truck's for sale for, for example, $2,500. I'm not I'm not expecting a brand new truck. I'm not expecting, you know, uh I'm gonna be taking it to Meekum Auctions or Barrett Jackson, you know, and I'm gonna make three million dollars off of a twenty five hundred dollar truck. I'm expecting, you know, hey, it's gonna have some flaws, you know, I blah blah blah, you know, in my mind. But hey, if you're the seller, say, look, this you know, I've had it so many years or just got it, just traded for it, whatever the circumstance and the other sides of the truck, you know, the quarter panels messed up, the the beds messed up, whatever. I, I even though I come over there to go see you, if you're the seller, and I have twenty five hundred dollars in my hand, I'm not going to give you the twenty five hundred dollars just because I come over there to look at it. You know, if the if the whole side is caved in or rusted away or or part of the tree is fell on it and it's still in the truck i'm not going to give you twenty five hundred dollars for it i mean even though i have the money in my hand i'm going to get in my vehicle and i'm going to be mad at myself for being suckered in and you've wasted your time too speaking for the seller you've wasted your time and you got somebody that's leaving probably slinging gravel and everything else trying to get away from you and oh have you ever been done that way i i hope not let me tell you what happened to me. I know I've told you this story before, but I'll tell you again. Not I'm not talking about this truck. I'm talking about a. my wife and I went to go look at a square body that was on Marketplace. And uh, it was a short bed, I think. Is a, it don't really matter. It's a 78, 79, 77, whatever, short bed truck. 350, and a, I think it's a three-speed in the floor. And, you know, I've seen pictures of it. Well, you know, I called about the truck. It seemed like it was a really cheap truck. It said it run and drove. So uh, I called. The lady answered. And uh, I was telling her I was interested in her truck. And she said she seemed really nice on the phone. And uh, she said, uh, okay, but she said, I have someone else coming to look at it that called before you. And I said, okay, I understand. That's fine. I said, I hope you sell it. And... Uh, uh, I said, I tell you what, I said, if they don't buy the truck, I said, would you mind writing my phone number down and calling me back? And I'll, my wife and I will come look at it. She said, okay. So that morning, that was that evening when I talked to her. That morning she called and about 10 o'clock or so, and she said, uh, the guy came and looked at the truck, and he didn't buy it. He didn't want it. She said, you're next on the list. She said, I've got quite a few people on the list. You're the next person on the list. She said, would you like to come look at it? And I said, yes, I would. So my wife and I, Miss PIB, we got all hurried up and got ready to go and got her uh, directions to her house where the truck was at. And uh, we got lost a time or two. And I, my wife kept calling her and saying, I'm sorry, we're, we're, we're on our way. We just took a wrong road or something, but, but we're going to be there. You know, just kind of reassure her that, yes, we're coming to look at that truck. Okay, so we found the place, went over there, and uh, going to look at the truck. And I was, I was talking to the, her husband. I'm assuming, was talking to me about the truck, and I was asking him questions about it, and blah blah blah. You know how you do, you know, tire kicker kind of, you know, looking at everything. And I was crawling up and under the truck, looking at things, like I know what I'm looking at. But anyway, I was looking, trying to evaluate what all's been done to it. You know, it was a column shift that's been put in the floor. Blah blah blah. And, uh, you know, he, well, while I was under the truck, this, another vehicle pulled up and, uh, and I guess the guy in the truck that pulled up while I was under the truck or do, whatever I was doing, I was up under in there somewhere around the engine, something. Anyway, he said, are you the owner of the truck? And I said, no, sir. I said, uh, the man, uh, stepped in the house. He'll be right back out. And I said, I'm just looking at the truck and. 
so the owner came out and started talking to him and next thing i knew you know uh that that guy that just drove up they got into the truck and left you know and i was still looking at it and uh and the owner the guy that owned the truck he he looked at me and said we'll be right back in a minute and i said buddy i said i don't care when you come back i said i won't be here i said i was next on the list and he put this guy here in front of me just in, that just drove in i said i was talking to you about the truck i said i would have bought the truck but i said uh you know it's you can just keep your truck and i'm leaving so I, of course i know it didn't break his heart anyway but my point is he wasted my time he wasted my wife's time and so much for a list you know what i mean so uh anyway my point is if you're going to sell a vehicle be truthful about it if you're the next one on the list then you're the next one on the list don't be pulling my chain or you know saying you know hey come over in, in an hour you know you're the next one on the list blah 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 it don't make no sense i the best thing to say is the the first one that comes with the money gets it and i would understand that i'd be good with it but if you've got a list stick to the list i mean i would have bought the truck i would have drove it home i, I my, my wife and i actually got in our vehicle we drove over there and we seen them going down the road and they turn around and come back and i mean i hope he sold his truck i do but if he didn't oh well i mean i was there i had the money so anyway i'm sorry that's my rant that's my rant for today if you're going to sell a vehicle clean it out if you've got kids i, I don't know stuff like this just kind of turns me off it probably doesn't you but I'm weird. It does me. If you've got kids and you've got handprints and where kids have been licking the wind, the windshield or the back glass or the door glass or something, or or you've had a dog or a cat in the vehicle and you got dog hair and stuff, get it out of there. I mean, come on. You're going to sell a vehicle. Would you put on dirty clothes? It's got dog hair and cat hair all over it. And anyway, I'm sorry. I don't mean. To, I'm not mad. I'm just. I, I'm just saying, if you're going to sell a vehicle, please have enough gumption about you to get in there, pick up your mess, maybe vacuum it out. Every time we go somewhere, I vacuum out the vehicle because I'm a nut. But I mean, I don't never let our vehicles, they might be dirty on the outside, but on the inside, they're pretty clean. And, uh, it, and I mean, I'm not even trying to sell mine. So it just, it is what it is. But people are just, like I said, the first of the video, some people are just pigs, and I don't mean that in a mean way. I'm, but truly, some people are. I just don't get it. I, I truly don't get it. Whew. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'm sorry if I got off, or I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. But you know, hey, be truthful. If it's been wrecked or something, or the other whole side has, has been hit by a train going down the track at 80 miles an hour. Say, hey, it's been hit by a train. Pick up your mess. You know, be truthful about it. If you're the next one on the list, you're the next guy on the list. You know, next person on the list. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Sorry. I get off on stuff sometimes, but y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. The Lord is in charge, and there was a reason why I, I, the Lord didn't want me to have that truck. And I'm, he knows more than I do, and knows, knows more than I will ever know. He hung the stars, the sun the moon and made everything that we can see so uh, anyway i just had to do that this y'all have a blessed day i'm gonna hush y'all have a blessed day god bless y'all expecting some rain today and uh i'm kind of hoping it holds off god bless y'all catch you in the next one see you later